Hey guys, welcome back to Run Ram Run. Hope you all are doing good. It's been long that I've sat down at home and made a video, but you guys asked about this particular product. A lot of you have asked about it. That's Kodak T210R Mini 2 Retro, which is a portable photo printer. I thought let me show you exactly how it works and is it actually good and worth a buy along with showing you different packages that are available in Amazon. So let's dive in and see how it is. So here is the box in which I received it. If you see, this box contains, uh, you know, the Kodak Mini 2 Retro portable printer itself along with 60 white sheets. This is one of the package available uh, that comes with, uh, you know, the sheets, the photo print sheets. There are other options which, um, you know, just give you the uh, printer itself and you can buy the photo sheets later. I think it didn't make sense. So this package, uh, I got it from Amazon itself. And what is surprisingly awesome is uh, there was no third party um, that sold this to me. It was directly from the Kodak photo printers itself. And it is actually made in Korea, which is nice to see. Uh, if you open this box up, there are three boxes in here, one, two, and three, that's the third box, yeah, so there are a total of three boxes, um, this one is the box of the uh, printer itself. Uh, I took the white option uh, since I felt it looked more retro. There is a yellow as well as a black option as well. Um, so let's let's uh, see what all we have inside this. Oh God, there's nothing. Haha, <laughs> lol. I actually took the printer out. Inside this box, uh, there is the actual printer which was well packed uh, with a good polythene so that it is, uh, it remains scratch proof and look at that glossy finish. It's pretty cool, right? That's the printer itself. So before we uh, start it up and actually see how it works, let's see what else we have in here. We have a charging cable and uh, this particular uh, camera has a good battery too. I have seen that. It has a built-in battery of 620 milliampheres, which is decent enough for a printer that is this small. Like I told you, I did uh, order for 60 sheets as well. Let me open one of them. Yeah. And these are the uh, cartridges that you get along with the uh, printer in this package. So each of this has 10 photo sheets. Like, you see them? Yep. Yep. So keeping these aside, let me show you how to load the cartridge inside this one. This is the slot for the cartridge. You just open this up and you see here something that is like a holder. Just hold it up and that is the cartridge. And when you load it inside here, all you have to do is check for the grooves, put it rightly in there and there is a press option here. Just click it that's it and it's done this is where your photo is going to come out from and here is the power on off button uh, well uh, from the box itself it has come up with 40% uh, battery life already there so let us uh, get this on test for for that first you would need uh, to download an app from uh, play store i already did so let me show you what it is So this is the one you need, uh, if you see up close, that's the one, here, let me open it up, um, I'm going to turn this on, yeah, so the Bluetooth is on, let me connect the Bluetooth with the Bluetooth of my iPad, I guess we'll have to go to the settings for that first, Ta -da -da. so go to the settings. Uh, Bluetooth option and you'll find a Kodak Instant right here. Select the option. Tada, it is connected. 
So after setting up the Bluetooth, you have to just go into the app. Once you go in and allow access to all photos, it just uh, connects to the album uh, within your iPad or iPhone or whatever uh, device that you have connected it to. So I chose this picture, a picture that I took at my friend's wedding. Wow, this is a beautiful one. Let's try this. You have multiple options. You can change it to monochrome if you want or leave it colorful and edit it if you want. Like you can transform uh, it uh, the way you want it. Like you want to crop it or do whatever you want around it. There are filter options. Um, you can even make a collage out of it. If you see there are layouts for the collage, you can make collages. And you can choose multiple frames. If you want a different kind of frame, you can choose those as well, which I think is pretty cool, right? But for now, let me keep it plain. Hit this print button if you don't want more than one copy. So you can choose five copies uh, at max for one picture, but I keep it as one and click the print button. Let's see what kind of magic it does. All right. I'm keeping this aside. Okay, let me also keep this in view so that you can see what uh, how it shows up there. Do not touch the photo paper while printing. This is a crazy action that it does. You have to see this now. You hear those sounds? Don't worry. It goes in and out four times before giving you the final copy. Yeah, there you go. Yellow first. While you keep seeing that, you should also see this. So there are colored passes that keep happening. First one was a yellow, then there is a magenta colored pass. Now second color pass is done. Now. It's moving into the third color pass, that's cyan, if I'm not wrong, that's blue color. That's the third layer. And then, the final protection layer. And wait, it's done. Uh, yes, I guess it is done. Remove the photo, it tells very clearly. This one, almost there. Pretty good print. Look at that. Isn't it? I like the print. It's pretty cool. Neat, neat job. It has a small extra clip here of paper, which you can just tear it off. And it's all ready to go into your journal or album or wherever you want it. And don't you think the quality is good? Uh, I think this is a pretty good quality. I have tried even the Canon one. And I certainly believe this is much, much better. Uh, that's how it looks. Uh, unfortunate that it does not come with, um, you know, uh, a sticker at the back. Uh, that's the only minus that I see here. But other than that, the photo quality is amazing. I really, really loved it. And I certainly suggest this P210R. It's a big thumbs up from my side. I do love this Kodak P210 Mini 2 Retro. There is a latest version also of this, which is slightly expensive. It goes beyond 10,000. It doesn't give much greater output than this one. So I still prefer this one. And I would suggest you guys also the same uh, printer. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and also got the required outputs uh, or the required feedback or uh, whether to buy this one or not. If I left any questions unanswered, please do mention them in the comment box below. I would be happy to answer. So until the next video, see you guys. Bye.